Hi, this is Matt Marchant of the Marchant Training Method, and I would like to share with you what I believe are the six factors for lasting health and vitality. The key word is lasting. So no matter what your goals, what your dreams are for your health or for your fitness, I believe these six factors are very important. So whether you're trying to lose weight, build muscle, you have an illness, an injury, or you just want to overall increase your well-being, these six factors, in my opinion, must be factored in, must be considered. So let's go through what this diagram is all about. So originally, I wrote this diagram kind of like a pie. And I thought, you know what, that doesn't really um, give these six factors justice. And I'll show you why. So I rethought it, and then I drew it into a wheel. So think of this like a bike wheel or a wheel uh, of your car. So here we have the outside and we have five different spokes. So our five spokes that make up our wheel, food, water, air, sleep, and movement. We're going to talk about those first, and then we'll talk about the outside, the rim, which is your thoughts. So first one, food. Food can be medicine, but if food can be medicine, food can also be a poison. Food is a source of fuel. Is your food a good source of fuel or a bad source of fuel? Very important. In fact, they're all important. Next one, water. Most of your body is water. Most of the organs inside of you are water. If you're dehydrated, what is that going to mean to your health and fitness goals? Next one, air. Food, you can go for about, they say, three weeks without food, three days without water, you got about three minutes without air. So, you need air, and specifically, you need oxygen and carbon dioxide. Both are important. It's not just about getting in sufficient amounts of oxygen, but it's also getting in sufficient amounts of carbon dioxide. You have to have air. Air, um, the oxygen in the air, consider oxygen a nutrient, and it is the most important nutrient because you can only go without it for three minutes. Whereas some nutrients from food, you can go for weeks without it before you see signs and symptoms of dysfunction. The sign and symptom of lack of oxygen, well, ultimately death, but it can really uh, affect how your brain works if it's not oxygenated. Next one, sleep. Your uh, hormones require that you get sufficient sleep, enough time and enough depth of your sleep. Whatever your goals are, if your hormones are a wreck, you are not going to achieve your goals. Sleep is by far the easiest, free way to regulate hormones. Next one, movement. Whatever your goals are, there needs to be some movement. But now with movement, movement doesn't have to just be working out. It can also be a working in. We won't uh, go through too much in this video of what that really means, but a working out is you have energy in your body, you're spending that energy, you're giving that energy. A working in is you're pulling energy into your body so that at some point you can work out. What if all your movement is always working out, working out, working out? You're not getting enough energy through your food, through water, through breathing, through sleep, and all you're doing is exercise, exercise, exercise. What do you think is going to happen to your body eventually, given enough time? It's going to have some problems. So, movement can be working in or working out. So, the main thing with these six principles is this. There's only five spokes inside. The sixth principle actually makes up the rim. Now, I would like to give a higher priority to thought. I know I said they're all important, but I think thought is actually a little bit more important. And let me ex explain why. You could be putting all these factors into play, but if you are having negative thoughts, if you have a negative self-defeating thought process, it will affect everything in here. Absolutely. Also, too, if your thoughts are not dealt with first, i.e. self-sabotaging types of thoughts, you may, need, may not even address any of these spokes in this, uh, this wheel because of bad thoughts. So, it's my opinion that uh, the, the, out of the six principles, thought is the most important. Once we get that cleared up, the work we're doing in these five areas really starts to blossom. So, 
that's my opinion. That's my version of the, the six factors for lasting health and vitality. I did write a, a very short article. It's on my website, marchitmethod.com, if you'd like to click on that. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment below. I'm very interested in what you have to say about these six principles. Uh, ask some questions. Put some thoughts down there. Share some things with me on some things you thought I might have left out in this presentation. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.